All right, four units here. We don't know what they are yet. Shit, forgot that some of us have um, Pathfinder and some don't. Twenty fucking eight. Shit, that's a lot. Thanks, country and orange. Okay. Get him, Rags. Get him. Dude, do they resurrect a the dog? Why don't we have zombie dogs? Okay. Okay. No, we're not using the dog as a discount fountain. Falcon. We're using the dog. At, the guys don't attack until um, something engages in melee. So the dog forces the dog triggers the geist moving forward which is pretty nice so we can get geist kills ahead of the zombie waves Although, I'm not quite sure it's going to be enough right now. We'll see. No. I wish those zombies would kill that last dog. Yeah, good, good, good. Because now the guys will come forward, which is what we want. Still a lot. We could use Gleason to run. Just explain the point of the dog strat. Literally just said it out loud. Like two seconds ago. It seems like it might have to be sustained melee contact though. They just didn't move there. Dogs is getting expensive. There we go. Good, good. Okay. I did not mean to skip there for the second time. Whoops. Whew, thought I just accidentally skipped.
Is there a second Necro? Why are there two fucking possessions up? Uh, zombies are 6 AP, right? So it's 3 for them, so they can only move to there. I think that's right. I really hope it's not 3 fucking... 2 necros right there. action like an asshole all right uh we need to do damage to things like that careful not to block nobu's positioning yeah because that gets really scary all of a sudden Failed rally. I'm one tile off, they had to rotate him. Two actions, I suppose. Good luck, Manijo. I guess the new plan is kill zombies fast enough to break. I mean, this is always the shit plan, right? To kill zombies fast enough to break the the morale of that guy. Stop headshotting him, please. Okay, we can't use this guy quite yet, sadly. Because we need to go do this, just in case. Okay. We could maybe try to get the archer in place to shoot the necro. Don't know that it matters. On 
wounded. Five miss. How do we go kill this fucking necro? Maybe these two? So if we fill this hole here, this guy comes down to us and doesn't bother that guy. Seems okay. I don't know why he's allowed to possess twice like this. It's really fucking irritating. I not pay attention get caught over there? Whoops. Okay. Shot there, super bad. Shit. I was considering killing him with the cleaver, but. I didn't think it was going to kill him outright, so I didn't bother. I'm not content with this plan. Maybe this guy is bugged and he's not actually possessed. Maybe that's why it looks like they have two every round and he's only attacking once. That must be what's happening. Necro's wavering. Dude, another headshot. Come on. Each weapon here, we don't.
Try to get the bloodlust away from the really vulnerable guys. Never gonna be able to move here. Two more cleavers right there too. I see a kill shot like that, I'm super happy about this. Um, okay. The head popping off, I mean, to be clear. That one's scary as shit. Both these are. Necro still unbroken. Alright, I think we're going to come out of this without, I mean, dare I say it, without anyone dead. Or maybe just with Gleason. That's a pretty secure position, huh? I can't believe our actual plan is to break the necromancer's fucking morale. Gotta figure out something for that. This is not an efficient way to win these fights. Yeah. Come and save you like for the dog? Uh, no, we're gonna kill the necro, then make sure there's no good loot on the ground, then make sure everyone's stamina is recovered. And then we'll see if uh, anyone to the west needs any help. But we're not in a rush. That's all I'm getting at. Cool. We got a long ways from getting over there, huh? Oh, lunch. Yeah, lunch. Good point. It's a brutal curve on Battle Brothers, and the curve is roll well or die. Now, at the moment, he's doing a good job over there, so he might not die. We'll see.
I'll leave equipment sauce and brothers empty so they can pick up dropped gear. Sometimes. It's a lot of uh, movement to do that, both in terms of um, getting to the actual tile and uh, picking it up. It's a lot of actions. Not super excited about that, that idea. you farm this guy for experience it's one experience per it's like i don't even know how much to level i mean you technically could i mean if you want to kill ten thousand zombies to get a guy one level go for it but i won't be I got a bit worried for um, use a cat over there when he kept getting headshot. Expert's a lot of fun. I think this game really shines played on the highest difficulty. What I don't like is too many things like the, the dog strat I feel is like okay because like the dog is a consumable you use a consumable to get some advantage seems good. What I don't like is like the positional stutter stepping that sometimes breaks the AI not like exactly that but like for example versus the skeletons like that's okay but I don't want to have to memorize a different pattern for every enemy type to make that the fun stuff. I don't know. There's a lot of cool things you can do in this game. Like, I love pulling enemies into camps. I think that's a really neat one as well. We didn't quite get that to go off as intended this time around, but lots of times it does. Just a lot of good stuff. I don't like the super speed or any stuff. I think it's very skill intensive, don't get me wrong, but I don't really enjoy that. It's not really what I look for in my games. I don't want to just do a pattern slightly better each time with more and more information about a map. Pretty good shape here. Or rather, pretty good fight. Obviously, we're in good shape now. Like, I, I hate the runner strat. I hate how powerful it is forever. Like, I just wish it wasn't a thing. And I suppose I could make it not a thing, but the thing is it gets you so far ahead as opposed to not using it that until they, like, remove that, you're always going to want to, especially in the early game. Because it just lets you, it lets you take camps that are twice as big as you'd normally be able to take. Alright. 
Let's take a look at the damage here. Thirsty Work and Xander within five damage of each other. Thirsty Work 753, Xander 758. Next highest coming, oh, Lullaway is at 790. That's Sword. That's a Sword with a Shield doing 790, so tanking like a monster. 757 on Music Cat. Some big numbers, 620 on Monik. Loot is very unimpressive. Some 10 durability leather shoulder guards. Yep, didn't roll very high on the loot for sure. Okay. It's all right, still a bunch of experience. Happy to take that. Bunch of levels. Six sock, missed his first attack roll. Don't like giving up attack rolls, even at one, but four, four comparatively. Okay. Okay. A lot of level ups here. Light leveled. So Stam is now only 90% as effective. I think we take this four roll and consider making this a zero Stam. Which is gonna be Battle Forged. Thirsty work leveled. All right. It's working while? Oh my God, send me some DMs. That's fucking amazing. That's been a huge mental uh, block for me of like finding games that I want to play in a timely manner. All right, uh, Xander rolled pretty well here. This is gonna be footwork, not footwork, underdog. Fuck, I would've been so mad if I clicked that. All right, what are we doing with Thirsty here? This is a Battle Forge build, right? 87 HP at seven. Yeah. Okay. All right, so starting to get there on some people. All right, we're still looking for those orc camps, making progress. One less dog. Yep. How are our tools? Tools are pretty good right now. Let's head back and west. Mm, don't want to fight that outside of a camp. They don't want to fight me either, so it works out well. Found the goose. Lego location too. So now we can pick up the retinue that gives us cash upon finding camps this might be something we sell the goose or it might not all right what are we getting rid of that how do i trash an item i don't know if i can trash an item this game i have to have like completed a camp or something right so we have to equip an inventory yeah. um shit <laughs> We have, we have one we have one bit of space in Nobu's inventory. Take a bandage. Okay. Alright, let's see what's inside. Inspect the stump. Is it real? The tales were true. Plus one golden goose. Excellent. All right, let's start moving back to town. So that should unlock, I think we have the retinue too, or 2097, it's 2250 for the next one. Okay. 15 crowns a day indeed, that's value. All right, uh, we wanna take this orc camp. We need to dump inventory when we can too. Just found the witch's hut, which is a fight we do not wish to take. The payoff on that is atrocious. And it's extremely dangerous. 
Okay. Sick ass dagger. You want to make your gear totally useless by getting a zombie? All right. Oh shit, you know what we should have done? We should have given Xander the other potion while we were running around. Did I just missed midday tick too? Yes. Fuck. All right, we'll take the orc fight. All right, this will be a good place to drop garbage that we don't want, so. Cartographer unlocked. Well, that's what I was saying. We don't, that's what I was just checking for was the cartographer, right? Which is we don't have the ability to equip the cartographer right now without giving up existing, so. We're in 2250, we're at 2080 like or something. So soon, but not yet. All right, do I want to keep fighting with Music Cat in here? Probably. Might be time to up his helmet. At least to that. Might be time for a one fucking 40 on him, too. All right. Yeah, we're close. We're just not there quite yet. I can't, I'm pretty sure we can't drop items, right? Yeah, okay. So many people have me doubting myself. I'm like, maybe you can drop items. We would like another archer in here. Mick Booty, thank you very much. No spears. Would like one spear here. The unarmored ones are not closer. Wait on the disarm. Double headshot into a guy with only head armor. Nice work. That thing's fucking alive. Sadly, where's this guy? There. Ah, uh, has he moved yet? Not at all. We could maybe try to disarm that to not eat that hit. That sucks. Also, very much sucks. Going ahead of him, though, is good. Just 
really good. This is a little bad. Really bad. That guy's staggered. We could try to disarm one of these. We can maybe break that guy, but it's unlikely. I don't think the dog gets us very far because they're just going to AoE. That guy might go slower. We'll try to disarm that. I'm like half right, sadly. Go. I think he goes here and attacks us. I can't stop him from getting an action. Was a chance, 32. Still in a lot of fucking danger. There's no protection for the archer. Same problem with the dog here, it doesn't really do anything. Single target, single target. Nice. We'll surround the berserkers. Can only go well. Cool. Let's drop some garbage off. lucky things there, honestly. The Darkest Dungeon Pro, absolutely. I'll take it. Alright, we're two orc camps away. We're overloaded on stuff, and we're very close to 
2250. What are we at? 2104. Are we going to be rich? Our inventory is not large enough to be rich out of this, but we can make some good money out of this. Potion time. Not yet, but soon. Wish I hadn't flail spec this guy. Maybe he ends up like nimble two-handed flail. Maybe this is it. Maybe he orc flails. What's the new orc flail like? 50 to 100 is pretty fucking high. What was it before? <sighs> I don't know about that. We'll see. Um, are we... Doing what here? Dodge and fucking nimble. Forty to ninety. Kind of want to see the um, like a, what a famed two-handed human flail is like right now. What do I normally build on these? I've been normally build something else. Can't remember what I'm doing with my nimble builds right now. Um, Colossus student gifted. Yep. Oh, well, I didn't take a uh, student, but otherwise. Brawny or weapon spec? We took weapon spec, underdog, uh, nimble, killing frenzy, berserk. All right. Where is my berserk? There. All right, death watch. Missed some rolls. And Monik. Also missing rolls, sadly. Okay. And where are we? Here. Be nice to find another one to two. Uh, no, that's run ending. Would we like an ocean of fucking Necro of nachos? No, we would not. That's too many nachos. Do you like your entire team eaten? Not really. Bad on dead camp. Uh, what's the renown like off something like this? It's gonna be a really boring fight, but. Gonna have absolutely dumpster loot too. So why are we doing it? Experience. Full inventory. Depends what they are. If they're if it's twenty eight like little ones, no, it's no problem at all. But if it's the big ones, it's the problem with that many. I, don't know, I really don't want to fight this fight. I think if it were earlier in the day, I'd do it because it just makes sense to do it, but it's such a boring fight. I think we'll pass. Just found the Oracle. I've forgotten what these are again. What are these? There's multiple ones of these. What do they do? Is it just a morale boost when I interact with it? I can't recall what the hell these do. Holy War locations. It doesn't do anything right now. Okay. All right. There's Watermill. We go to Watermill once and he just tells us to like find the sword, right? It's annoying that we're finding all the legendary locations all at once. A nominal pittance from the raving masses. Yeah. I don't like bringing up a game you aren't currently playing, but did you slash would you recommend any online sources for learning old world? Hey, Kaiser. Um, appreciate the donation and the uh, the tact about asking that question. Um, I don't really have great 
sites to learn it from. I'm considering doing some guide videos for that game at some point, maybe a little bit closer to launch. Best best I can say right now is check out the, um, I would check out the old world uh, vids, vids that I'm releasing on YouTube right now, the Let's Plays, the 1v1s, etc. Those are a decent source of that. Nine brigands. Nothing there we want. Bigger pack right there. I wonder if there's a camp in here. Alright, I do want to... I mean, I'm interested in that, but I'm much more interested in just doing this, which is selling this shit before we run out of time. Uh, columns of smoke. Green skin. I wonder if it's a green skin invasion right now. That's what that means. Some bad backgrounds. What are they buying at here? So we used all of our food when we got here. Nice. Maybe we should have stopped in Zombie Town. Okay, price tools. I need a item to mark cost for me. And what are we actually working with? It's going to be like 15. All right, so we could sell garbage and move on. to get it out of inventory. There's really not a lot in our inventory because our inventory is tiny. Ah, uh, we do want to fix that. Is it time? Hey, Freeze. Is it time to buy a cart? Cheap billhook here at 820. It's almost worth it. It's the tavern rumor. Oh, it's the tavern. Just check tavern twice and ask what the tavern rumor is. Nice. It's a cleaver in here. The infamous one-handed hacker. I think ours is better. Endowment. Thank you, uh, Surter. Thanks for the content and the YouTube instruction, Filthy. My pleasure, man. My pleasure. That's what I like doing. Getting really involved with niche games that are super fun and then uh, teaching other people how to uh, how to get as involved. Makes me happy. All right, do we take a couple um, arena fights on the way out? I mean, something else. We're gonna go north again. Gather trade goods. I think we're gonna do almost the exact same circuit again, right? We're gonna come down, probably run it to here, take an arena fight or two, teleport all the way north, run through here, Look for trade goods, cheap stuff, then check chosen stuff again. Maybe we'll be strong enough to take the camp if we can find some unholds. And then go a little bit further east and south into this area looking for orcs and other camps. I just would like to get cartographer first. That seems like a pretty decent way to continue this run. Okay. So let's go down here. At some point we should do some nomad stuff too. That's an orc camp. We should wipe that out. Little baby orc camp. Four to six berserkers. Uh, how close are we to midday? We're not. So we could probably take the fight first, then use a potion. Although, do we want Xander to be fighting in the arena? We probably do. Although, how's Xander been rolling? So-so. All right, let's go take this fight. Broke my shield. I don't want to waste that shield. Do we have more garbage shield somewhere? Yeah. All right, load up some more stuff in inventory. All right. I hope I didn't forget any armors. We're just sitting this one, feeling lazy. What I'm feeling is decision fatigued from all day of playing, but there we are.
All right, sneaky berserkers, but not bad here. A renewal. Welcome back. Appreciate your spreadsheets and tutorials. Saves me time on complex games without doing the R and D. Thanks, Cthulhu. So this guy's the guy who's gonna be in trouble, huh? Just holding his turn, huh? Just chilling. I wonder if he'll run. Yeah, exactly, Professor Pandemonium. It's a nice way to design a fight. Uh, what's up, Deckard? Uh, I see. When do you swap the. Generally, when you ask questions to streamer, especially if the channel's busy, just at them, right? So I can see that you're directing a question to me as opposed to chat. When do you swap the Bowman and the Axis jabs? Um, I'm, I'm not. They're, they're not really Bowman. These are definitely throwers. Throwers are a lot more powerful these days than they've ever been. So uh, at the moment, they have bows mostly to just be a little bit more flexible. <laughs> 